So we do have our first alert day that's approaching for Friday, and it may not be a continuous all day rain, but we will have numerous soaking rain showers. Winds will pick up and it will be a very wet day. Showers likely into the first half of the weekend on Saturday could even linger through the morning into the early afternoon and highs won't budge out of the mid 50s near 60 by Sunday. A gorgeous end of the weekend and then things will begin to turn much cooler as we get into next week, Monday and Tuesday as we plunge into the month of November. Hard to believe that is quickly approaching hour by hour rainfall. How much rain to expect? We're going to call for at least an inch of rainfall for most areas. I do suspect some areas could go closer to an inch and a half up to two inches. Lakeshore areas get a favor of zone just east of Toledo. Perhaps our lakeshore areas is that wind turns northeasterly and continues the showers into Saturday may end up with over an inch and a half of rainfall. Temperatures turned out to be fairly nice today. Upper 50s and low 60s currently right now after a few spots reached into the mid 60s and we have a few isolated light rain showers. This is sort of just the appetizer to what's to come overnight tonight and into tomorrow. A couple of those showers that drifted through Ottawa County had some rain over toward Defiance that now down 24 over toward Route 127. Picking up though through tomorrow, it is going to be the lakeshore flooding risk as first alert meteorologist John Birchfield mentioned. Those winds will pick up east northeast winds and by tomorrow evening, the peak risk will be Friday evening for lakeshore flooding. It's pretty incredible with how it looks so beautiful right now. Our Jet Express cam had a peak or two of sun still lingering. Nice, quiet and calm conditions out toward Putin Bay, but it will turn windy over the next 24 hours. More rain coming in from the south and the steadier shower is going to be tied to this area of low pressure that is slowly drifting across the region and it will continue to bring rain chances through the start of the weekend. So let's put our hour by hour forecast in motion. Here's the steadier showers overnight while you sleep. You'll hear the rain coming down and you will wake up to it tomorrow morning. So have the rain gear handy tomorrow morning. Steady showers going to be likely. The brisk easterly winds will turn more northeasterly late in the day. Continuous rain showers the majority of the day and it will likely include your Friday evening mid 50s for Friday soaking showers, a gusty breeze and have the rain gear handy for your Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram big board Friday as we head toward the low 50s by kickoff time mid 50s expected Friday and Saturday rainy and windy showers the first half of the day Saturday clouds will linger mid 50s back closer to 60 on Sunday and much cooler weather as we get into the middle of next week Wednesday Thursday Friday a couple days to sell back into the mid 40s for a chilly start to November. Mid 40 is certainly going to get your attention, but look at what stands tall. Halloween itself in your trick or treat forecast Sunday evening. Still looking perfect, dry and ideal.